balance who can't control their body will never be able to move at full speed and they actually have to slow down and regress their speed in order to maintain that speed. Just like driving your car at 100 miles an hour, which we don't recommend, is hard to control. <coughs> your body when running at 100 miles an hour is hard to control. You learn how to control it by getting through the stages of 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, 40, 50, 60, 80, 90, and getting comfortable at those speeds before you start going full speed. Everything is a step process. And today, part of learning the steps is learning the drills that help with the balance. So you learn small adjustments as you improve your speed, okay? So, balance. <clears throat> Keys to understanding your balance is your hands and your arms help. If you think of a trapeze artist, they have that big stick as they're walking across, or high wire, I think it's trapeze, okay? As they're walking across the high wire, which helps the balance. When you have a lot of your drills, your hands become counterbalance, counterweight. As you're walking, when your feet go forward, your arms counterbalance you. That's a natural progression or a natural movement and we want to enhance that, we tend to, as beginners, hold back or regress it, which can be detrimental to your overall balance. So if we're doing drills right here, that's not natural. But your brain saying, hey, let me focus on the task at hand, cuts out processes that it, at the time, deems are unnecessary. Just like you holding your breath when you're learning to do something, or people who stick their tongue out while they're trying to thread a needle, we do that. The focus needs to be at the task at hand, all right? Not saying overall that's bad, but when we're trying to get really good, we need to get our arms and moving. All right, so we're doing balance, okay? So I do have a ball, and the question comes, why do we use a lot of balls or tennis balls with a lot of our drills, especially our balance drills. Well, hand-eye coordination improvement. If you're just doing catch and throw drills, those get a little bit monotonous, but having an object to actually focus on or coordinate through makes it a fun challenge for younger athletes, makes it a challenging challenge for older athletes, but it also helps to break up the monotony of doing the drill that sometimes can get a little monotonous. And if you've done drills and you're an athlete, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Doing certain drills over and over again can get a little boring, all right? So a lot of times we'll do just an easy drop step instead of just a drop, okay? Why? Because the catching becomes a skill improvement. The catching becomes a skill improvement, okay? now. That's essentially an easy drill we'll get into in a second, but we also use the tennis ball as an object for our first balance exercise, which is gonna be a perfect demonstration of counterbalancing, and it is pickups. With pickups, what you generally wanna do is put the ball anywhere in front of you. The farther you are away, the more of a challenge it becomes, the closer you are to it, the easier it becomes. Not easy, but easier. Also, the faster we go, becomes a little bit more of a challenge, especially if you make the requirement that you can't touch the ground with your hand. And what do I mean by that? This, when I go super fast, becomes a little bit of a challenge, but what happens is they go super fast, have to put their hand down to rebound and then come back up. Speed is a manipulation of, or manipulation of tempo, aka your speed, is a challenge that can be used to make things easier and harder. It just depends on who you're working with as an athlete. So do pay attention to their speed because sometimes that needs to be controlled. All right? So back to the drill. We call these a pickup. 
I'm going to keep this leg athletic. And if you remember, athletic ready position, weight sort of on the balls of our feet. Our weight still slightly on our heels, but we have that forward lean. All right, so I'm going to do this. As my upper body bends forward, my counterbalance, meaning me, my opposite leg, is going to raise to counterbalance me. Now, I'm in a balanced position. I might actually throw this hand out a little bit to help counterbalance me anymore because I have a tendency to shift my weight toward the pant leg, and this arm keeps that balance. Okay? Remember, it is all about balance. And then I simply put the ball down. Okay? Pick it up. Put it down. Now, as I become better, I can pick it up and put it in different locations, which then gives me a stability factor because my joints have to stabilize as well. So my ankle, my knees, and my hips are stabilizing. Remember, balance is your ability to stay under control while moving. Stability is your ability to maintain a position so our joints are stabilizing, our body is balanced, okay? So that's an easy drill, pickups. Okay, now I can change the speed. I can go super slow, okay? I can go super fast, but remember, I can't just touch my hand to the ground. I can also close one eye, technically I can close both eyes, but then it's hard to grab an object, okay? Closing one eye changes your visual and makes you learn how to stabilize a little bit more. It doesn't necessarily improve your balance, but it will force you to stabilize so all my joints are stabilizing better, okay? All right. So that's all about that. Now, some of you are going to be saying, well, what is this specific to our sport? Every sport needs balance. Every athlete can improve their balance. Every human needs better balance. Everyone, okay? So doing drills like that will get your muscles working, will get your joints stabilizing, and will also help you to improve your balance so that when you plan up, oh, I need to go this way now. All those muscles and all these joints are now controlled, right? So it is a foundational exercise for improving our balance and improving our body control, all right? Meaning we're more athletic, all right? So that's pickups. Now remember, learning to control your hips, or learning to control your joints, and learning to control and use your hips helps you to stay balanced, all right? So our next drills are actually just sort of about how to control our body through our hip and pelvis, okay? So I'm gonna show you from the side our next drill, which is called a step through. If you're in the strength training world, it's just a forward lunge into a reverse lunge. But we're not really truly concerned with the lunging part. We're training for speed, balance, and athleticism. So we want the fast transitional part to force our body to learn about balance. So I want a long stride where I go slightly down into a lunge. I am then going to transition backward by pushing off of this ball of this foot and this heel and transition and catch myself. See how I'm slightly lunged, but I'm not really going into a lunge. It's not for strength training, it's for speed and balance. Now look at my hands. See how they're like I'm walking? A lot of times athletes will hold here, which doesn't give them that natural counterbalance. Remember, your body naturally counterbalances, so don't hold back unless you're qu not quite ready for that. 
Meaning, if you're here, slow down your movements, shorten your movements, until you can start to use your movements, until you can start to speed up your movements. Okay? The faster you can learn how to transition those balance points, because from here to here, I'm actually balancing on the single leg. And like I just did, ready, watch. See how that is the exact same position as our pickup exercise? See how that's this? So the pickups are a foundation exercise to improve your balance for the next exercise, which we call a step through. And you can move quickly once you get the balance capability. All right? Our next exercise or drill is a lateral because we do need to learn how to move quickly laterally and get into place, right? So we're going to do a lateral step, balanced, see how I'm balanced, I can take this foot off, now if I push back in here, I can get back into position, right? Because sometimes you'll go, make a play, and need to get back. So I'm going to do a lateral step, explode back, and raise up this leg. See how I have to balance? The same balance position of the pickup. Okay? So if I go here, boom, balance on this leg, I can technically raise that leg up, right? Because I'm balanced. My center of gravity keeps me balanced here. Raise up. Now, if you're not quite ready for the raise up, you can just simply step in. If you're not great at your balance, you can slow down. Slow. If you're ready for speed, now, if you're really good, you can add a weight. And we found we typically counterbalance holding a dumbbell in the opposite direction of which we move. Now, if you're really good, lateral, Boom, forward step, reverse step, lateral, balance, forward step, reverse, into a step through. Now we're getting multiple directional and still foundational of pick up, working on balance, footwork of stepping and still being balanced. We got forward footwork, reverse footwork, and lateral footwork, okay? So all of those are options. Now remember, how long are you going for? 10 reps is usually good, but an easy way to do your practices is to set it for a time. Let's say one minute to the side, one minute to this side. That way you know everyone's starting and finishing at the same time. Makes it more uniform, all right? And then our last drill for today is gonna be a lateral step to a spot. So remember, we've shown you the drill where we go quickly. If not, you can look back at our old videos from yesterday where you're just stepping. And that's fine. You're going to be okay with just a step and you're trying to go quickly. But we want to get into a... See how I transform my balance? My center of gravity is shifting. I have weight here now. How quickly can I get out and back? But I'm also trying to hit the exact same spot. Why? I'm creating muscle memory. Your brain and your muscles will figure out your kinesthetic awareness so that if I do a drill, boom, look at that. Right on the tape while looking at you, I'm right on the tape, which means I'm right on the line, which means if I'm here, Boom! I know exactly where out of bounds is. Kinesthetic awareness, and that 
that's what working your footwork helps you to know exactly where you are in space so that you can do stuff like this without having to look. You can run, you can know exactly where the end line is, you can know where the sideline is without having to look, then finding the ball and going, oh, that ball would have been out, okay? By doing here, I'm hitting that tape every time. Now I can get faster, faster, faster. And sometimes those become monotonous, let's be honest. So then we add a ball to it. My foot's still hitting the same spot. The ball might be different. I can even force myself into that position. I can even do it where you have a ball coming at you where you can get here. But I'm simply improving my balance through those movements. Okay? So balance is the key and the root, the foundation of improving your skill set. So those are pickups, step throughs, what we call lateral explode and then step to a spot. Four great exercises that all help set a foundation of movement through improving your balance, which then builds the foundation for you to have great footwork and the ability to change your direction, AKA agility, because you're maintaining your body control and your balance. All right, that's all I have today. I'm Spencer Aiken with the Stronger Together Performance Academy. You guys go out. Be awesome and be amazing.